Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 4 in the HCSB for July 4th, 2023. It's really July 5th. Listen, my sons, to a father's discipline, and pay attention so that you may gain understanding. For I'm giving you good instruction. Don't abandon my teaching. When I was a son with my father, tender and precious to my mother, he taught me and said, Your heart must hold on to my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom and Get understanding. Don't forget or turn away from the words of my mouth. Don't abandon wisdom, and she will watch over you. Love her, and she will guard you. Wisdom is supreme, so get wisdom. And whatever else you get, get understanding. Cherish her, and she will exalt you. If you embrace her, she will honor you. She will place a garland of grace on your head. She will give you a crown of beauty. Listen, my son. Accept my words, and you will live many years. I'm teaching you the way of wisdom. I'm guiding you on straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hindered. And when you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction, and don't let go. Guard it, for it is your life. Don't set foot on the path of the wicked. Don't proceed in the way of the evil ones. Avoid it. Don't travel on it. Turn away from it and pass by. For they can't sleep unless they've done what is evil. They're robbed of sleep unless they make someone stumble. They eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, shining brighter and brighter until midday. But the way of the wicked is like the darkest gloom. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, pay attention to my words and listen closely to my teachings. Don't lose sight of them. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Guard your heart above all else, for it is the source of life. Don't let your mouth speak dishonestly, and don't let your lips talk deviously. Let your eyes look forward. Fix your gaze straight ahead. Carefully consider the path for your feet, and all your ways will be established. Don't turn to the right or the left. Keep your feet away from evil. Sorry, read the footnotes quickly. So, it is after midnight, so it's technically the 5th, but spent the day in the house, you know, doing things I need to do, wasn't feeling super social at all, um, so didn't do kind of the party thing, but did go park up the street, we're blessed, and where we live, they do fireworks, and we can kind of park on a hill, and just hang loose, and see it, and then zip right out, so we had an awesome fireworks show. Last night had an awesome fireworks show thanks to the neighbor. Oh, excuse me. Uh, thanks to the neighbor who lit off all kinds of crazy fireworks. And then tonight, uh, another neighbor, a couple houses down, was also firing off a bunch of mortars. So that was fun. But spent a day kind of hanging out with the boys, organizing Legos. Mom did a bunch of cleaning and stuff around the house. So it's interesting because it's like this is... um like conversations I'm having with the kids. Some of it is eerily similar. And I try to tell them stuff like this, specifically this quote, you know, get wisdom, get understanding. Don't forget or turn away from the words of my mouth. Don't abandon wisdom and she'll watch over you. So I tell them all the time, like, that's what you want. And he says it here too. Wisdom is supreme. So get wisdom. Whatever else you get, get understanding. So the, that, if you can get those, they'll, they'll light the way for you. You know what I mean? They'll guide you through life. Um, I don't know what else to say there. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's what you need. You need insight and understanding and wisdom and you can navigate life's trials and you know, the daily turmoil that we have. When you look at a situation, you should be able to discern rightly <clears throat> what's the way to go, or at least the way to not go, right? Yeah, like, what, 10 verses here about guard your heart, don't get on the path of the evil people, you know, turn away from it, pass on by, don't do what they do. But I always like this verse, right? The path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, shining brighter and brighter until midday. Not the righteous 
are like dawn, shining brighter and brighter until midday. Although, we're supposed to be salt and light, right? In the city on a hill. So, the more sanctified we become and justified we become, um, I, I don't know how to put it. The That should be more so. But that's not what this verse is saying, right? That it's not us and our lives that are shining brighter and brighter. It's the path of the righteous. So, I mean, maybe we can talk about like, okay, if it's the path itself, then the way in which we followed, you know, in our righteousness, in our right communication, right living with God is an example, you know, that other people can follow. That's cool, right? Path is shining brighter and brighter. Um, and if it is a good life and it is obvious that that is the right way, then that seems what it should be. But also, you know, what strikes me from here is, and I think this is the right reading, is it's to you. You know, I know in my walk with the Lord, like, better and better every day, more refined, what's good, holy, unholy, things like that. Um, so brighter and brighter until midday because, like, you know, man, last night with the super moon, I hope that y'all saw that. Uh, it was so bright. It was like, it was like day. I went out, you know, middle of the night before I got in the shower and went to bed and just checked on the chickens and walked around. And it was day. I could have done whatever I wanted to outside. Um, but then, you know, I woke up uh, very early, right around sunrise, and the sun wasn't up yet. But you could tell the sun was coming up on the horizon, but the moon was on the other side and it was still extremely bright. So it was a very eerie situation. Point being, the sun, even being behind the clouds, is still brighter than the moon and was starting to lighten up the sky above and beyond what the moon was doing. Um, and it just kind of, you know, you watch the dawn, um, you can see sunrise, so it goes from like dark to bright, you know, light to bright. And then all of a sudden the sun pokes out and it's a different game, right? And then you got a couple hours of like really beautiful sunrise and golden light. And then a couple hours later, boom, it's midday. No shadows. It's hot. It's as bright as can be. And it's a gradual process. It's not like... I was going to say integral because of integers, but that's not, that's not what I'm looking for. It's not like settings, right? It's not like, boop, it's one o'clock, click, and the sun changes. It's so gradual that it's almost imperceptible in the short term. And then you step back over a couple of hours or many minutes and it's like, oh, I can see it. So Zig Ziglar, I believe it was, said, I'm not yet where I want to be, but I'm not where I was. That's just the kind of thing that I tell myself every day. So, sorry for being late. That's how it goes. Uh, family first. I say garden, but like, oh my gosh. It, we may have plants growing, but it is not where I want it to be. And it's just yet another example of like my personal failings and lack of discipline. So, I am trying to get there. and it, But it is. It's little by little, better by better. And it's like, I need to take a proper count because I'm in the double digits on fruit trees, I'm pretty sure. We've got herbs of all varieties all over the place. The oregano is taking over part of the yard. But um, bushes, shrubs, berry bushes, trees, fruit trees, nut trees, vines, you know, roots, sprinkling seeds, chaos gardening. So not where I want to be, but not where I was. So life's like that. And I forget what I was just telling James, my son, about, um, it was something like that. He, he just turned eight and he's always remarking about how quickly life is going by and how fast time goes by. And it's like, oh, my son, you don't even know how true that is or what you mean yet. So with that, I guess I'm going to report to work for a little while. It can't be that busy. Um maybe not let me record this daily verse that i'm also late on and in the meantime be blessed go with god happy fourth of july hope it was a good one